Uh, hi, Nina. How's your day going hi. so far? Pretty good. How's yours? Not too bad. Not too bad. Good. Well, con congratulations on uh, being the Ricardos first off. Um, I thought you really stole the show, uh, you and, and JK especially. Um, and so I just wanted to ask, you know, I, I mentioned JK, what, what was he like working with as an actor? Oh, I mean, what a gentleman, first and foremost. He's such a kind man. And it really, that I think that might have been the hardest part of filming it was to, to have to have this cantankerous relationship with him on screen because it's, it's genuinely impossible to not love J.K. Simmons. Um, I had such fun. I really did. I, I just had such a blast working with him. And uh, Aaron Sorkin's known for his dialogue, uh, of course. And was there any sort of adjustment to, to his style? Yes, it, there is, because to me, uh, his writing, it, it almost feels like music. So you get this score that you have to learn. And it felt similar in a way to, you know, when you study something like, like an Oscar Wilde play or a piece, or even Shakespeare, you have to honor the rhythm of what's done and you earn your pauses. So it's almost like learning a piece of music when you're, when you're trying to memorize or study the script. And what was the preparation like for this kind of role? Like specifically uh, the 60s style of acting, right? Television acting was a lot different back then. And a show like I thought of uh, WandaVision kind of paid homage to this style, but I thought you specifically really nailed the delivery. But, you know, how did you prepare for that? Um, I think the, part of the style and why it was the way it was with all the actors is because they had extensive theater backgrounds. Um, so I think that really kind of informed the delivery. They had a live audience, which also, when you come from the theater, you feed off that energy, and then that translates into people's homes, in a way. I think the biggest thing for me was to honor these two women and their physicality as much as I possibly could, because they were so incredibly different. I mean, Vivian, you know, uh, was a, a leading lady. She was an ingenue. She was this kind of very desirable woman. She was a torch singer. And this woman, this, I mean, very beautiful dancer, was playing Ethel. So I had all the footage I could possibly ask for, you know, to do research on Ethel, obviously. Uh, but I could really find very little on Vivian. And our, our producer had sent me this seconds long clip. And it was of Vivian being introduced by Desi. Uh, in front of the studio audience before they filmed the show. And so all it is is just her walking out, taking a bow, and then leaving. And it, it, com it was a game changer for me because out comes this woman. I mean, her spine, her back, she's this dancer, you know, it's like this woman who's so, I don't know, aware of her hips and she like sashays down stage and takes this elegant bow and, and then goes backstage and then she's Ethel. And there's this kind of a little bit of a weighed down quality with Ethel as opposed to Vivian, who was just this, what posture, you know, what confidence. So that was, a, that was such an in for me to kind of be able to honor these two very different bodies. Yeah, and you mentioned the physicality of her role. And I think something subtle and beautiful about your performance as Vivian was there's kind of a, a subtle commentary on like the standards in Hollywood, right? I think in the middle of the shoot, she kind of feels the need to start dieting. And, you know, did that add any sort of layer to this role for you? It certainly did, because that was one of the ways in which we see her deal with this mourning process of losing her past self and who she knows she is and who she was. And I think that's one of the ways she's desperately trying to hold on to some semblance of herself uh, in, a, in a world where she is so quickly and, and furiously being boxed in. So I think that was one of the ways, yeah. Yeah, and you mentioned, you know, your uh, collaboration with J.K. on set, but were there any other actors that stood out in any memories with uh, other co-stars? Every single person on this movie is a registered genius. That's just the way it was cast. So at every turn, it's just constant inspiration in every scene, in every moment, even in observing somebody and not being in the scene. It was just nonstop. Yeah, and, and what do you hope people take away from uh, being the Ricardos? Uh, I hope people take away the understanding 
that there really is, there's nothing funny about comedy. It's an extremely serious business. Yeah, and so are there any uh, future roles that you have that you can talk about? No, I can't. We have a couple of things in the works, but nothing I can report on right now. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.